Good afternoon guys and welcome to this leg workout. Here is my working sets. So I did 200 kgs for 7 reps and 4 sets. So in my last few videos I've had questions about what's on my legs and those are knee straps. So basically you wrap them tight around your knees so it compresses them and supports them so you don't get injuries or at least helps prevent them. This last trip was a bit of a fight but then I just re the weight. So I don't have all four sets on video but here's another set of 200 for 7. So here the first rep we just go down nice and easy. So after that 6th one I could already tell I need to readjust my stance so here's the 7th and still a bit of a struggle but nowhere as near as much as the first set. So here what I was just doing was 2 sets of 100 kgs. Um, I can't remember exactly how many reps it was so there's 1, 2 but the point of this is to go slowly down and medium to fast up. Three. That's four. Uh, I think I did 12 to 15. Six. That's seven. Come on, man. let's bump it, boy. Eight. There's nine. I did two sets of this, and there's 10. Okay, so I did 100 kgs. 11. Oh, look at that smirk. Yeah, so I think I did 12 or 14 or 15. So 12, yeah. So 100 kgs, 12 reps slow and moderately f fast up and down. Two sets. And after squats, I decided to do some light deadlifts. So I was doing 180 kilos or 405 for the Americans watching for eight reps and five sets. Yeah, so main focus here was just to get some explosiveness and strength combined so lighten the weight and focus on power and strength at the same time so after deadlifts we're moving on to full st well this is obviously after the warm-up but i'm not showing that full stack leg extension 12 reps five sets Notice how the weight's moving like butter, but towards the end I can feel the burn, so you see me pulling faces. So I, I actually started the recording, so I messed up this time, because I started in portrait and handed the phone over in landscape. So it's not Caillou's fault, it's mine, but here we go. Another 12. This is the second set, but I can't always film, because it is a commercial jump, so I have to avoid employees and be careful of other people. So after that, we did, or well, I mean I did, 300 kgs lightweight for me times I believe 12 for four sets of calf, standing calf raises and then I dropped down to 180 and ripped out for the third set and I was actually super setting that with hamstring curls but I couldn't film because there was staff fixing the hamstring next to it but I wanted to show you guys hamstring exercises so here's Romanian deadlifts elevated so I can get a better range of motion 100 kgs 10 or 12 reps I think and I did just three sets of this.
so now we have today's explosive and power workout. So you start off with eight med ball slams or slam balls, whichever you have. So you do eight. After this eight, you do eight hand cleans, preferably light if you want to do full, all explosive and you can go slightly heavier to do strength. So eight of these. Followed by landmine, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a handoff kind of workout, so I just call it landmine single arm press. Eight aside. So there's my right side first. Followed by the left side. Next was a single, this was 40 kgs, eight aside, single arm snatches, I think they're called. So here's the right side, not too shabby, I would say. Gonna switch over to the left shortly, here we go. Left was a bit harder for me because I'm right handed, but I did try and push through at an even pace. But I, watching it back now, I can see it was slightly slower, so next time I mentally have to remember that. And then after this, we're gonna do, I think it's six or eight upright pulls with the barbell. We'll see it in a moment. Okay, so it's upright pulls. Yeah, so it's six, and I did five sets of that. Here we have another set, so. Because, like I said, guys, sometimes there's gym staff walking around or they're fixing equipment nearby or they're training and talking to people. So I can't always film every set. Sometimes I can't film at all, like especially in peak hours. So sometimes I have multiple videos, other times I don't. So there's the left side now and then we're going to do some more upright rows with the barbell. And if you're wondering what these exercises are for, this is to help your explosiveness and power on the rugby field or any most sports field like contact sports. So here's the last set I did. I just, the 60 was feeling too light on the barbell upright pulls after the first three, so I decided to go to 100. But something pitiful happened, you'll see it shortly, after I'm done with the dumbbell snatches. So just finishing off with the left quick, and then you'll see the unfortunate atrocity that I had to suffer through. And no, uh, I'm not talking about physically or anything like that, you'll, you'll see in a second. I know, you won't believe the horror. My video cuts out. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, ha I ripped a callus open and I was a bit of a sissy so I couldn't finish the set. I told the guy to edit that but he clearly forgot. Anyway, so here's the last thing I did. I just did three sets of this. Is you do a burpee onto a medicine ball and you pick it up and you drop it from above head because if you throw it will roll around. And this is to simulate hitting the ruck and getting back up. So this is like purely rugby specific right here. Followed by for strength and explosive chain movements, followed by body weight inverted rows. If you've enjoyed this video or found it informational, please like and subscribe, it's appreciated.